at church. I'm trying to convince Duran to take the shuttle. But he wants the full effect. He wants to take the, the strollers and everything. I'm trying to tell him if we just carry them, we can take the shuttle. We dropped off right in front of the church. <sighs> he wants to do it the long way. The problem is going to be carrying them back. Unless we take the shuttle back, but we normally don't do that. They look so cute. They've been good so far. As soon as we get in here, we need to feed them. Um, and they're being so patient. They're being so patient to have not eaten yet. So, that would be the first step. <laughs> Duran is already tired. <laughs> He has a little bead of sweat coming down. <laughs> I told him we should just carry him. All of this is not necessary. <laughs> there. We gotta walk from back there. And we still got a ways to go. Um, I never complain about the walk. If Jesus could walk up a hill called Calvary, I can walk across a bridge. So, the walk to church, I never complain about. But it, it's cool. It's all worth it. Guns. Okay. In church, they made it. Huh? Oh, we gotta take the elevator. Huh? For church. So, Daddy, how do you think they did? They did good. They did. <laughs> they got filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he's, he's still going. <laughs> Antonio wasn't feeling all the noise when he was trying to take a nap, but other than that, he was okay. Stefan said he slept just fine. He don't know what Antonio problem is. Did you like it, baby? Did you like it? <laughs> Two. Oh yeah. So, so y'all are gonna follow me on a vegan journey. I'm gonna try to be vegan. Today is day one. Let's see if I can go without eating any meat products and stuff from an animal so run down me I'm doing I'm gonna do baby steps though please keep in mind I'm gonna do baby steps. so I may not eat meat but I may eat cheese or something like that <laughs> does that still count what? that I'm doing baby steps so when you gonna go full blown I'm gonna go full blown like once I start to realize that hey that wasn't too bad I could probably have did without. So what are you gonna buy? Like what am I gonna buy? Like when you go to the store, are you gonna shop at like Whole Foods? I'm gonna buy a bunch of vegetables, a bunch of fruit. I'm gonna see if I can find like tofu stuff. <laughs> when I go to restaurants, like if I want a burger, so you're to, I'm gonna eat like a black bean burger. My or barber, like that. she's a vegan. Mm -hmm. She's been doing it for about a month and a half. I wanna definitely do this. And I think I am gonna do it. The babies are with me. Well, they drink milk. Look, he laughing too. Oh no, he's he upset. What are you upset about? We're almost to the car. We're gonna get y'all to drink an almond milk. Well, no, nah, they they drink. That's not milk, milk. It's powder. I think it's milk base though. It's still oh, milk. milk. Base, yeah. He just wanted to see the light. That's all you I'm not afraid of this wind. You don't need to be getting sick, baby. Okay, so I got the crab hash with tomatoes. Ron, who's so far from being vegan, got the chicken and waffles. But remember, I'm just doing no cheese this week. We'll see how they go. So, no cheese. It is crab with tomatoes, um, holiday sauce. Holidays, is that how you say it? Holiday.
face. Um, and some tomatoes under there. It's so good. I love it. And let me hear it for before little man wake up. The big man already up. You ready to get comfortable? Your church clothes on? You ready to take them off? Look like you've been at work today. You gotta show everybody your outfit. He has been asleep since church. Since church. We got out of church at 12. Show everybody how cute you were today. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy, yeah, her. I'm too sexy for my pants. Too sexy for my pants. Too sexy, yeah, ha. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy, yeah, it hurts. Yeah? No? No, mom? Okay, I'll stop. So y'all like my hair? I'm trying to get something where I don't have to do my hair that much. Hey, you. You. Oh, this thing, y'all. I like it. Um, the humidifier. I like that um, it smells like Vicks, too, which is pretty cool. But you do have to replace it. Um, every so often you have to replace it. So, but I do like it. It has a max setting and you can't actually see the mist. And then you can do a sleep setting where it's still working just as good, but it's not as loud. So, it's pretty cool. And then this thing is a night light and it shines up on the wall. So, so y'all can see. See that? So, of course, this will go in their room um, once we get their room and stuff set up and once it's time for them to sleep in it. But until then, it's in here with us. Today, we... I'll go ahead and grab you, okay? Today, we set up the Christmas tree. And you like it, don't you, Boogie? You like the Christmas tree. <laughs> Put up the Christmas tree. Um, oh my goodness. Uh oh. Now we got the hiccup. Y'all like? It's so freaking big. Let's see if we can move it though. Where we have that little Christmas tree. That's where I want to put it. When he wakes up from his massive nap. We take my wife Right over there. Um, I'm gonna see wow. if yeah. he doesn't mind moving the tree. She and then these are the ornaments I bought. I got these from Ross. That was so pretty to go with the house because, you know, our house is like a black and white and silver thing. So I thought these ornaments would go perfect. Mm -hmm. I just can't get enough of you, little cutie. Why are you talking to this thing? Say hey. Say hey to your squad. They love you. <laughs> so I told y'all I'm serious. I'm serious about this diet. So this week is no cheese, okay? And I'm still going to eat meat. But tonight I'm going to have salmon. Deron is having tilapia because he absolutely despises salmon. He said it makes him gag. So I'm going to make him tilapia. And then I have some green beans and potatoes, red potatoes cooking. So and then I'll probably make me a kale salad to go with it with some skinny dressing. Mm -mm. So I'm going to try to hook up this tree. Well, actually, I'm going to try to move it first before I put the ornaments on it. You trying to jump down, boy? You want to vlog? 
No, Mama. No. <laughs> so I went to Walmart and I saw this stuff. I don't know. I thought maybe it would taste good. It's like this all natural chai drink. And it's okay. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, I will say, because, like, you totally taste. You see, like, the little chai? Let me see if I can get in the light. See, y'all see, like, the little seeds floating around in here? So, yeah, you totally, like, taste it as you're drinking it. But this one is a strawberry lemonade, um, and it has omega-3, so... I decided to get it to try it out um, because you know chai seeds are supposed to be really good for you and give you energy. Lord knows I need energy to deal with these little booger boogers. I'm just trying everything on this natural journey that I'm gonna do. You know, it's about losing weight, but I also just really want to. I want to really get more organic in my life. Cut out all this processed food, fast food. Get right. So my hair looked like this. Because I just got through running to Walmart and running through the parking lot. There are some good people still left in this world. Because after I got to cooking dinner, I'm looking for my phone. And I realized I don't have my purse. So I'm looking around the house. Purse is nowhere to be found. And I'm like, oh my God, I think I left my purse in the Walmart parking lot. So we do the whole find your iPhone thing. And there it is, like on the map, on the find my iPhone. Still in like the Walmart area. So... I'm like doing 90 back to Walmart <sighs> and I asked someone when I got in there where's lost and found just so happened the guy who I asked he asked me what I was looking for I told him I was looking for a purse and he asked me what it had in it and I told him a pink iPhone and he was just like yeah we have it follow me and so I was so relieved. Of course, they asked me all these questions to make sure that it was my purse. And um, the guy, Patrick, shout out to you, Patrick. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Because he didn't have to turn my purse in. Or he could look through my purse before he turned it in. And I'm so grateful. I tried to give him some money for doing that. But he said, he, and then on top of that, he wouldn't even take my money. So I'm just, I'm very grateful for there's still being good people in this world I just that would have been a lot that I lost a lot so y'all hang on to your stuff my bun from me running through the parking lot so much for that